What's up? I'm Troubleshoot, super simple fix guide for Battlefield 6. If you're getting an error saying unable to connect to EA servers, this is how you fix it. First of all, one of the weirdest solutions that I've heard of working a lot is finding any USBs you may have plugged in, usually USB storage, and just unplug them. Unplug everything except for your mouse, keyboard, and probably headset if that's a USB one. Once you've unplugged everything, try launching the game again, and it might actually work. Very, very strange that this is solving it for some people, but do try it, even if it sounds like a joke. If that doesn't work for you, there's a couple of other solutions. You can check EA's official server status, linked down below, and just make sure that Battlefield 6 is currently online. There could be certain issues, or the game could be down for maintenance. This has happened once or twice since the open beta began. Assuming it's online, let's try and fix a few other things. EA's suggestions are mostly just restart your router and game. If that doesn't work, use a wired connection, as in an Ethernet cable, instead of a Wi-Fi connection, and finally adjust firewall, VPN, or NAT if needed. Usually VPNs should be fine, you could be using a gaming VPN like exit lag or something, but if you have those running, try exiting them and relaunching your game to see if things work properly. As for firewall, hit start, type in firewall, and open up allow an app through Windows firewall. Inside of this window that pops up, click change settings, and prompted click yes, then on this list, click anywhere, press E to jump straight to EA and make sure that private and public are ticked for every EA app entry here. Then allow another app, choose browse, and you'll need to navigate to where the EA app is installed. If you don't know where it is, hit start and then type in EA, find the EA app, right click, open file location, and then you should see something like this. If it says start menu, find the shortcut, right click, choose open file location, then at the very top, we'll right click up here and copy address. Inside of the browse window that opened up when we chose browse here, select the text at the top, paste it in, hit enter, and now we're in the EA desktop folder. Scroll down and find EA desktop or EA desktop.exe, select it and choose open. Then add, and it should pop up on your list. Tick both of these here, private and public. Then allow another app, browse, and this time we'll be heading to where Battlefield 6 is installed. Either open up Steam, right click Battlefield 6, manage, and choose browse local files. Then we can copy the path at the top once more. Now, if you've got the game installed through EA, I don't, so I've pulled up Peggle here, just find it and click it on the left side. Then under manage, choose view properties, and you'll see the folder here. Open folder, and once again, we can copy the path from the top, just like that. Paste it into our browse dialog as such, select bf6event.exe, open, add, and then make sure that both private and public are ticked for Battlefield 6 open beta. Assuming things are still unhappy, open up a new file browser, head across to your C drive, followed by program files, then EA, followed by AC. This is the anti-cheat installer directory. Just double click EA anti-cheat installer, click yes when prompted for admin. When it opens up, choose repair. Select OK, and now we need to navigate to where the game is installed. For me, I've got it on Steam. Right click, manage, browse. Again, we'll copy the path, paste it in, and we'll choose select. Then it'll find the anti-sheet folder and make sure things are working properly. In a short while, you should see install success. And just like that, the anti-cheat should be happy once more. At this point, you should be able to open up Battlefield 6 and you should be able to play. If not, we can try a couple more things. Hit start, type in CMD and open command prompt as administrator. So right click, run as admin. Inside of this window that shows up, run ipconfig forward slash flush DNS as such. Then once more, this time ipconfig slash release and ipconfig slash renew. Once this finishes, run the command netsh winsock reset as such and netsh int ip reset. Once all of these have finished, you'll need to restart your PC and hopefully things have improved. Finally, this could be some kind of DNS issue. Hit start, search for control and open up the control panel. We want this old control panel here, not the newer settings window. Head across to network and internet, followed by the network and sharing center, and then find the way that you're connected to the internet, in my case, ethernet. Click it. Inside of this new pop-up, head down to properties, 
choose yes if prompted, then scroll down on the list until you see Internet Protocol version 4, TCP, IPv4, choose Properties, and inside of this new pop-up, choose Use the following DNS server addresses, and then in preferred, enter 8888 and alternate 1111. This is Google's DNS and Cloudflare's DNS, respectively. One is usually faster than the other, but this depends on where you are physically on the globe. Either ways, having both of these set should be good. Click OK, close, and close. Now, once again, try to launch the game and see if things work properly. At this point, they most definitely should be. If you found a different solution, do make sure to comment it down below. I'm interested in hearing. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.